Welcome to Agile and AddonsModules.com. Agile and AddonsModules.com are developers of a wide range of modules and add-ons for the PrestaShop shopping cart system. This video will assist you in the configuration of the Agile Multiple Seller Module. In this video, we will briefly explain the back office admin options for sellers. There are many Agile add-on modules available which can enhance and or modify the functionality of the multiple seller module and add many additional features. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be focusing only on this module's feature set. This configuration tutorial assumes you have already performed all necessary steps to correctly install the Agile Multiple Seller Module in your PrestaShop 1.5 store and that you have completed part one of this tutorial for the main module configuration. We'll begin part two of the tutorial already logged into the back office and viewing the dashboard screen. This brief tutorial will simply show you a few of the options you will use when dealing with seller profiles. First, you will need to set or verify the permissions you wish to grant sellers in your store. To do this, hover over or click on the Administration tab, then click the Permissions option. Next, click on the Profile Agile Multiple Seller on the left side of the screen. This permissions table contains all permissions associated with all sellers in every area of your store. Here you can set the ability for sellers to view, add, edit, and or delete records relating to each of the categories listed in this table. To change a permission, simply check or uncheck the box for that ability for that item. For more information on each of these permissions, please see the PrestaShop documentation. It is important to note at this time that default permissions for Agile Multiple Seller were set here during the module installation and should work well for most instances. Please do not change any of these permissions unless you have a specific requirement to do so and you know exactly what effect each permission setting will have on your store. We do not recommend making changes to these permissions because the majority of the default settings are required for sellers to be able to operate correctly within the store. Next, we will again hover over or click on the Administration tab, then click the Employees option. On this screen, you will see listed all Super Admin and Admin profiles, as well as a listing for every seller who registers in the store. When a customer also registers as a seller and you have the Account Approval Required option checked in the main module configuration, this is the screen you will come to in order to approve those accounts. On this screen, you will see that a customer has registered as a seller, but their account is awaiting approval. Approving a seller account can be done in one of two ways. If you simply want to approve the account, you can click on the red X at the right side of their listing. The red X will then change to a green check mark, designating that this account is now active. For more control over a seller account, you can click on the edit button, which is the pencil icon on the right. On this screen, you can modify the seller name, change their password, set the panel color for their admin page, Set the default page that will display when the seller logs in. Designate a page width for the back office screen. Set the default language. Set the theme for this seller if more than one theme is available in your store. And designate whether the PrestaShop screen case will be shown to them on the admin dashboard at login. You can also set the status for this seller which is basically the process of approving or not approving the seller. The profile option should never be changed from Agile Multiple Seller for Seller Profiles. 
Be sure and click save when finished with this screen. And lastly, you can add or edit a seller's payment info if you choose or if they are unable. To do this, hover over or click on the Administration tab, then click the Seller Payment Info option. On this screen, we can see the seller has not yet created a payment info record. Click the Add New button in the top right corner of the screen. Choose the seller from the drop-down list, then choose a Payment Module option and finish by completing the required information and clicking Save. In addition to the main module configuration we covered in Part 1 of this tutorial, these are all the basic elements needed to set up and configure the Agile Multiple Seller module from an admin standpoint. Your store is now ready to accept sellers. In our next tutorial video, we will detail how a seller registers in your store and the process involved in setting up their account. For more information, you can check out our documentation page in the support section of our website. This concludes part two of the tutorial for the basic configuration and setup of the Agile Multiple Seller Module. For more information on seller operation within this module, please see our video on Seller Setup and see part one of this tutorial for more information on the basic configuration of this module. And thank you for choosing Agile and AddonsModules.com.